Fuck in Edinburgh. Dead. There's no one, this virus is like eradicating a whole city, this is like crazy. This is a familiar bit, for the video. That'll always be Connor's tunnel. This bike just sounds so good in there. Well, actually, news is, the infamous Mr. Killswitch, well, he's, so, he's gone and sold his bike. The GSR 750 with the pink stickers, gone. It's not completely gone, no good news is, it was his mate. His mate bought it, so technically he's still in the group. To wait and see uh, what he does when he actually comes to collect his bike. <laughs> see, the thing is, like, as soon as everyone runs away into hibernation, the sun comes out. It must be. Must be linked somehow. The world planet must have been like, thank you, you're for not polluting me, you can have some nice weather. I mean, there's a few people here. Quite, quite a number of cars actually. Oh shit. It's closed, man. What the fuck? at the back, Alex behind me, Connor is in front, as per usual, he knows everywhere to go. I keep missing gears, I swear my pedal's fucked. So huge on that. That was Raceland. Raceland supposedly where they used to go on the 125s. So I learned how to go knee down. Yo, man. Fuck. Fucking overtake him. A cyclist on a corner. Are you fucking mad? A double white lighting corner! Oh my god, man, the fuck? Some people.
I went back to the roundabout before and he's not there. So. <laughs> he must have gone straight on. Oh, he's a gorilla. So that's the problem with the 125 in the group. It's just a oh, wee bit too slow. He's just got shit acceleration. Yeah. yeah well, when you're trying to get past all of the cars, that's what matters, eh? Yeah. It was, as soon as... I don't as like Alex, because usually he's fucking right behind me. I know. The 60 bit, it was uh, quite straight. Oh. As soon as we turned onto that, I floored it past all three cars. He wouldn't manage that in a winner. No. And then the, the, the queue traffic came the other way as well, so we had to wait. But the car in front of me, as soon as he pegged it, right? I pulled out the peg at behind him, and then they indicated right. Yeah, so you let him out. And yeah. Like, yeah come on. And just, just sat there. Come on! He, ah. Indicating the whole time, just sat there. I'm just like, what the fuck are you doing? I think he did, are you in the park? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Your rock coming to bits. Yeah, I just sat on it now and it's. Uh, oh there's a bubble there anyway, but I made it worse. What do you mean that too? No, that's pretty shit. It's all shit. I watched I watched that video on that Indian guy, and he basically just at every corner he just put cuts. Yeah. But because it's chrome, it's all like gone back on it, or like ripped even more. <laughs> Welcome to our adventure. We're in some random forest. It's not even a forest because it's literally just two trees on the edge of a road. <laughs> <laughs> We're looking for a minefield. Alex has a new obsession uh, called, what is it, Splunking? No, this isn't Splunking. Splunking's like caves. Caves, oh. Well, this is an off, off branch of his obsession. Get it? <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Hopefully we're not like gonna walk over it and just fall down somewhere, but no, it would not. We stuck down there. Oh, <laughs> now that sounds better than mine. Thank you very much. Was that a compliment? Um, with me. We have found the mine, we can go home now. Go ahead. <laughs> I can't fit. I would skip myself a rabbit jumped out of me. <laughs> <gasps> we found something. <laughs> You're right there. <laughs> you are yeet. Do I keep walking about in case it's not this? Yeah. There's a computer in there. Huh? There's a computer in there. Is there? The fuck? It's covered the moss, but. <laughs> it's there. Hold on, I need to do something. <laughs> <laughs> this is dodgy. Okay, I'm pretty certain that those bricks for the mine. Have you given it a name? Yeah, Bim V1. Oh yeah, Bim. I'll, I'll just do it. So, I forgot to shout him out.
Hey, Bim. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!